Okay, hi kiddos. Uh, we're gonna give it our best shot on getting through lesson 23. Um, same objective, the still module two, same objective, but bigger numbers, we're just really hitting that routine and uh, just starting to go in stride and do our division. So dividing three and four digit dividends by two digit divisors resulting in two and three digit quotients and then reasoning about the decomposition of successive remainders in each place value position. So just really working through these division problems. Um, let's set it up. We're going to divide and check. You have to be neat here. It's really a challenge, I think, for most fifth graders. 4,859 is our dividend divided by 23. Where do you put the first number in the quotient? As soon as you can fit, you're working from left to right inside. As soon as you can fit your entire divisor into two digits, that's where you're going to stop. So this is going to be in the hundreds place. So how many 23s can I fit into 48? If you do some quick estimating in your head, 20, 40, I should be able to successfully fit two. Two times three is six, two times two is four. Do your subtraction and you have two left over. This is great, it's really like 4,600 because it's really 200, so remember that as you're trying to make sense of what we're doing here. Anyway, bring down the five Divide 25 by 23, you can get one in there, multiply 23, subtract and get two. Bring down your next place value position. So in these larger problems, the biggest challenge is really just keeping track of where these numbers are going and don't get lost. If you need to put a little ah, falling line, do it, why not? Uh, 29 divided by 23 is one, multiply 23 subtract and get six don't forget to write your remainder up here and now do your check look at how big our quotient is now our quotient needs to go on the top for sure because I don't just have a two by two multiplication I have a three by two so three times one is three three times one is three three times two is six hold this spot because this our goes zero two times one is two two times one is two and two times two is four line up carefully. Add, 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 add. 4,853, lovely, except that I still need to add my six remainder. And we have nine, five, eight, four. 4,859, and check. So when you get down here, the last step, it's like, this isn't my answer, but this is the dividend that I started with. If you get this, then in all likelihood that is correct. So let's move on. 52 is our divisor and 4,368 is our dividend. There we go. So again, starting from the left, I cannot fit 52 into 43. So my first digit in the quotient will be in the tens place because I, um, my divisor is too big for these first two. So if I had 50, ooh, that's for my meeting in a few minutes, yikes. Um, if I had 50, then I could round this to 400 and I could try for eight. So that's my thinking behind uh, where I get that eight for the quotient. Eight times two is 16, eight times five is 40 plus one is 41. Do your subtraction, compare, and make sure that this is less, and it is, so we can bring down the 8. And again, if I had 50, I would guess that I could get around 4 in. If you guess wrong, just erase it and start over. Okay, and then we end up with 0. We do have to check. Um, let's do our 52 and 84. You can do it in any order, remember. 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 5 is 20. And then go to 0 or put nothing there, that's fine. 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 5 is 40, plus 1 is 41. I know I'm going fast and now I'm thinking, oh gosh, I have a meeting in a few minutes. There you go. So 4,368, whoa bam Hooray! Let's do another one. 34 into 7,242. 
So looking for where I can divide this, if I have two 30s, it would be 60, but I also have eight, I'm still safe with two. Two times four is eight. And again, lining up the digits very carefully in the hundreds place here, two times three is six. The difference between 68 and 72 is four. So I don't have to use the standard algorithm if I don't feel like it because I'm super close here. And then bring down the four, divide 44 by 34, one time, multiply, subtract. The difference is 10, that is less than 34. Bring down the two, oh, just like that. 102 divided by 34. And if you had 30, 30, 60, 90, and then it would be 120. So I'm just gonna leave it at the three. Three times four is 12, and then nine plus one is 10. And how lovely. So the check is 213 times 34. Four times three is 12. Four times one is four plus one is five, and then four times two is eight. Don't need that and don't need anything there. Three times three is nine. Three times one is three, and three times two is six. Add, add 14, nine, 10, 11, 12, and seven, 7,242. Heaven forbid the day I get something different down here, I'm gonna be like, wait, what? Come to a screeching halt and have to redo the whole thing. <sighs> So much fun. Three, one, six, four. So let's do another one. 31 cannot be divided by 45. If this is too small. Move over to the next place value position. And you can go either way here. You can go round up so that you'll have an overestimate, or you can round down so you have an underestimate. It's really up to you. If I rounded down and used 40, and I said, oh, I'm close to 32, but I'm not there, that would be an 8, but that's obviously not going to work, so I have to be below that. I could try a 7 or a 6. Let's just try a 7. 7 times 5 is 35, and then 28, 29, 30, 31. Woo, we just eked in there with 1 to spare. And then 4 comes down. Now, we talked about this in the previous lesson on 22. What do you do when this is so small you can't divide with it? Well, you still have to fill in a digit here. This four is in the ones place. So how many ones are divisible by 45 when you only have four? Zero. Zero times 45 is zero. So 14 minus zero is 14. And now I have my remainder of 14. Sorry, that's messy. But it's not seven remainder 14, it's 70. Now for my check, I can put 70 on the bottom, hold that spot. Zero times everything is zero ones. Seven times five, 70. That's in the tens place. 35, carry the three, 28, 29, 30, 31. 31, 50 plus 14, add your remainder. And there you get your 64 that you needed to compare. Well, bam. Let's do another one. 29. 9,152. And so if I had 30 and I wanted to divide it, I would put three 30s into 90. And I have less than that, so I know I'm going to be safe. So 3 times 9 is 20. Oops. Look at me messing up my line up. Line it up correctly. 9 times 3 is 27 under the 1. Carry the 2 and then 6, 7, 8. That is the craziest looking 87 I've ever seen. And the difference between 87 and 91, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 4. There you go. And that's less than 29. Bring down your 5. So is 45 divisible by 29? Well, at least one time, but two 30s would be 60. So I can only fit one. Find the difference between 45 and 29. You can use the standard algorithm, or you can just say the difference between 30 and 45 is 15 plus one more. So that would be 16. So it's really any way you want to do the subtraction. You can use the standard algorithm if you'd like. But 16 is less than 29. Bring down the two. And, um, and then I'm dividing 162. If I had 30 and I wanted to get to 150, then I would guess 5. And so I'm just going to randomly... Oh, you guys can't even see it. I hate it when that happens. And I know you guys are at home going, do 
dude, move the book up. Anyway, here it all is. This is what I was talking about. So um, we just brought down the two, and now we're dividing 162 by 29, and we're guessing five, and then we're going to proceed and do our multiplication. Five times nine is 45. I am going to hear it from the class tomorrow. Uh, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4 is 14, and so we're close, but not super close. Uh, 162 minus 145, and the difference is 17. You can do the standard algorithm, or you can just find the difference and say 45 to 60 is 15, plus 2 more. Remainder, 17. Multiply to check. Uh, 9 times 5 is 45, and 9 times 1 is 9, plus 4 is 13. 27, 28, hold this, goes to zero. Five times two is 10, two times one is two, plus one is three, three times two is six, there was nothing carried over. And then five, three, nine, 10, 11, six, seven, eight, nine, 91, 35, bam, but we need to add our remainder. Don't panic. Seven plus five is 12, three, four, five, 91, 52. And there you are again. Okay, last one on the front page, and then I'll probably take a break and do the word problem separately. 63, 44, 24. And so 44 is not divisible by 63. So we're going to move over to this spot, the tens. And if I had 60 and I wanted to get to 42, which is times 7, I would guess that a 7 would go here. We'll see how it shakes out. 7 times 3 is 21, and then 42, 43, 44. We got super close, and that was really good. Here we are again with only 14 left. So what did I tell you before? You have to hold this spot with a 0. Multiply and get 0. Subtract and leave it with 14, and that's your remainder. Let's double check our work with a check. 0 times everything is 0, 7 times 3 is 21, and then 7 times 6 is 42, plus 2 is 44. But you still have to add your remainder, and 4, 4, 2, 4, there you go. So that, oh, I still have 5 minutes, could I do it in 5 minutes? I don't know, I seriously doubt it because they're word problems. Um, and they're really wordy word problems. So I'm going to end this video right now. It's a super short one. And we'll come back in a few minutes after my meeting. And I'll get the rest of them. So have a great time till I see you on the next video.